Welcome to Work Truck Week 2024. We're gonna take a quick look at different toolboxes that are available, but before we do, let's take a quick look at the Pro 25. A truck box, road box, pickup box, whatever you want box. Weather tight, five drawers, flat bottom, thick steel, grease jerk in every drawer. We also make nine sizes of truck boxes that are intended for truck bodies. Once again, spring steel, dividers, flat bottom, thick steel, grease jerk in every drawer, solid one inch shaft in order to be able to withstand the rigor of uh, the truck box world. In addition, the Pro 30, the workbench toolbox combination where you store your tools, quarter inch top amount of vice, you have the ability to move it to where you're working and once you get to where you're working you set it down and do your work. Now let's take a walk and show you the truck boxes available at the 2024 Work Truck Week trade show.
Now, from what I'm told, this is the Pro Series right here. The Pro Series now has a chain instead of a cable. Very thick steel, probably looks like 18, maybe 16 gauge, but very sturdy. Looks like a good quality product. So, just because you make some stuff that's a little lighter gauge, doesn't mean that you don't make heavier gauge stuff. So let's continue up this way. You gotta see one of these uh, snow plows. There's a snow plow in the other hall over there. That's gotta be at least 16 feet long. Obviously, depending on the jurisdiction, it's a highway plow that you could pull down. Of course, all the manufacturers are here. The Kenworth, the uh, Ford, the Chrysler, the Isuzu, and all the truck bed guys. Ford, Ram, showing off their new electric vehicles. There's uh, electrical forums, electrical discussions on electri electrification of the industry, which whether you like it or not is coming. Some nice plows. The, uh, the guys that make lights seem to be disproportionately represented. But of course, in a truck show, you're gonna have the uh, DC to AC conversion. So you will have different power available that you could build into your truck to be able to run all the items that you need. And by the way, these guys, hold on, let me turn around. These guys here, they make some amazing products that is amazingly durable. And unlike a lot of the items made in China, they're not meant to make one hole. They're made to make 500 holes. And once you're done doing 500 holes, you bring it back and they replace it. Bad dog tools. Was I correct? 100% correct, yep. Oh yeah, these guys are from Austria. They make drawer sliders, this company here. So they make 500 kilogram drawer sliders, 750, 600, and of course, you know, the lighter gauge, the 100, 200, and 400. But what's really impressive is they actually make 225, 7, 165, 450 pounds, 1,100 pounds rate capacity. Very impressive. And attention exhibitors, the work truck show will open in approximately 30 minutes. I guess I have 30 minutes to continue the tour. So hydraulic cylinders, aluminum beds, stainless steel beds, tire balancing, tire ba uh, plugging. Has this been better? It's okay. Yeah. 
So these guys that make lights seem to be pretty common. It's been somewhat of a commoditized industry, the LED space, which is both good and bad. It's good that it brought down some of the prices. Uh, these guys, I must admit, I actually like the product that these guys make. So, this is basically a truck bed. And too many times, you have to reach inside and you can't reach what you got. So you could bring it out one notch. Or the whole way out. Or, in some cases, you could actually have a raised one where you have storage underneath. That's great utilization of your truck bed. Arguably one of the founders of this type of product in the truck industry. Very cool. Brute cargo management equipment. Please visit us Now, if you go into uh, many of the trucks here, you'll see that many of the trucks, and I mean a lot, and you'll see it as we walk around, a lot of the trucks have the, the C-Tech tool storage devices. So if you're looking for a lift, hydraulic lift, aluminum lift, steel lift, this is where you have to come to see these new products that are coming out. Ooh, I guess it's not just deck that does this stuff. But this is more cargo van stuff. 300 pounds per shelf. Deeper shelves, lighter shelves. And that was within, shit, I think that's a Pacifica. Yeah, Chrysler Pacifica work, work van. That's pretty cool. Now let's move to the next hall. All right. <clears throat> So of course, if you're at a truck show, where you're gonna have engines, transmission, transfer cases, truck bodies, trucks, uh, rigging, strapping. You're gonna have the lights, the sirens, and of course, the booms. Snow plow. Adhesive. <laughs> so 
So this is the Ford layout. You can see the F-150, the 250, the 350, the 450. Nice single wheel truck bodies. In that case, it's on a 350 chassis, but single. Now the SeaTech is what you probably will see in most truck boxes out here. They make a great product. One of the most uh, capable and adaptable manufacturer that can make drawers for most applications. Drawers, sliders, bearings, bushings, slides, glides, double glides, so that you can access the very back. Benefit, yeah, access the very back. Some of the drawback, because everything has a pro and a con. The pro is you access the very back. The, the con is that you weaken it a little bit. But they are a great product and should be considered in any purchasing decision. Now, of course, the electrical vehicles are front and center. Some of the truck body manufacturers. Making the, uh, the truck body that goes on the new truck. and some that goes on the very large trucks. Some beautiful trucks that can be seen here. Insider tour before the show opens. Some nice towing type vehicles. Hindo is a big player in this space. You got the, the Max, the Kenworth, the International, and of course the Mercedes, the Sprinters. And of course, displaying the cleanliness. Of their trucks. In terms of design, in terms of ease of work. Cement trucks, plow trucks, hauling trucks, snow trucks. A lot of the trucks are aimed at different industries ranging from the uniform guys, um, the carrier guys, the utility companies. CM Very nice Hey, 
very sick. What's the zip code? Now, one of the boxes that are pretty commonly seen is the DZ. They're very economical, made out of typical plastic. This one's very light gauge plastic, but there's an application for all, and it doesn't necessarily always have to be made to hold 600 pounds when all you're going to be holding is 100 pounds of electrical connectors. These guys make their truck body customized and out of composite. Very nice application, won't rust, very durable, very well made. Truck bodies. Armor-body.com. There you go. Some lights and attachments, some additives, and of course, if you're at a truck show and you don't see tri uh, tires, then you're at the wrong place. Truck lifts. Over here you have some different truck boxes, different thickness, different gauge, different material being used. Found their stash. <laughs> <clears throat> now 
Now these uh, these guys from Summit make some really nice truck beds. Cranes, toolboxes. Probably 16, maybe 14 gauge aluminum. ATB truckbox.com. We already looked at DZ. Like I said, lots of lights. Now these guys are known for their truck accessories. So of course you're gonna be seeing some hitches. Different materials, different uh, weight rating, different attachments, some risers, some to lower it, some brake controllers. and some truck boxes. Anti-theft device. Some chassis with obviously no beds yet. Some trucks already fully kitted out and outfitted. Different attachments, lights, air hose, different type of uh, air welding, whatever type, even over, they had uh, oil. Now, you gotta admit, that looks a little funky. So this is a Kia. And if ever you were in a futuristic movie, this is what it would look like.
they grant this with us? Now we're going to be doing the tour in about 30, 40 minutes. Realistically, how long it takes to do the tour? Probably two days. If you want to actually look at every product, understand the nuances between the different trucks, the different providers, the different attachments. Now, this is an industry that's been growing significantly, which is attaching the electronics to the vehicle different types of attachments so you can see it from your vehicle different weight weight rating of different attachments for raising it, for lowering it. Sway bar, weight distribution. Truth be told is I haven't seen a lot of weight distribution. Hmm. Interesting. Compressors brake pads <clears throat> shelving Just when you think you're finished, you see that there's another section that you've completely missed. And it's a little snug, in it, but I'm like, I'm saying, I, this is the first time I've worn it. Brakes. And it's so air, air rides.
Now, who can write me in the notes why there is an F600? in the Ford lineup. The 150, 250, 350, 450, 550, 650. But what is a 600? And of course, NTEA has a partnership with uh, Lincoln to create certified welders. Electric vehicles. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the final day of Work Truck Week 2024. The show floor is now open. They have steel snow plows, they have the carbide bottom. Most of the uh, products is turnover, plastic. Uh, we missed the, uh, the huge plow. I guess, sorry guys, I didn't see it. Gas tanks. Seats.